day two of President Barack Obama's Midwest bus tour kicks off in Iowa today. So far, he's had some harsh words for his potential Republican rivals. He told one crowd that he was there to, quote, enlist you in a fight for the future of the United States. Joining us now with more on the president's trip, Scott Montgomery, managing editor of Roll Call. Scott, good to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, how, how's this trip going so far, in your opinion? Well, I think it's, you know, he's, he's doing what he needs to do. Uh, you know, I think that the point of this trip really is uh, not directly uh, campaign politics, but sort of indirectly. I mean, as you said, to, to set things up, you know, he's kind of managing expectations for, uh, for what he has to do. He knows that he has to get some points on the board on the economy. He also knows that he's dealing with a uh, Congress that doesn't want to work with him. And so he's out there talking to voters, kind of saying, look, his message is uh, the Republicans are just unreasonable. How is that uh, flying? Is, is, that, is that harsh enough? Is that not as harsh? Should he blame them more? Should he not? You know, it's, it's kind of a tricky, uh, tricky thing it here. Is, yeah. It is. Well, I mean, how it's going, we'll have to see. I mean, the, the poll numbers at the moment are, are not good for him. Right. In fact, they're pretty terrible. On the other hand, they are no better. In fact, they're worse for Congress. And so I think that what, uh, what he's trying to do is kind of change the scenery he got out of Washington, which has not been a fun place for him for the last several weeks, and uh, take that message out and try to freshen it with new settings, uh, new scenes. Right. You know, you'll notice that he's gone to places in the Midwest that are actually in uh, slightly better shape economically. These are places that have better unemployment rates than the national average, and I think that that's to help him get uh, challenging questions, but not hostile questions. Uh, from, from, what, from what I can gather, some of the critics have felt like he hasn't done enough, of course, you'll hear about the jobs and the economy. Right. And um, then statements were made, one of his quotes were, I, I know you're frustrated, I'm frustrated too. He also said that last six months, uh, luck hasn't been basically right. uh, paraphrasing on, on the nation's side. Is this the message that we need to hear from, from the leader of our nation? Well, I, <laughs> that's a good question. And that's why I think, that's why I think this is about managing expectations. This really is about trying to say, I am willing to do some things, but uh, I'm going to need some help. And so he's talking about enlisting voters, getting people to help kind of argue that um, he needs cooperation. I mean, right. he, he keeps talking about, if you look at that message, he keeps talking about how uh, Republicans won't work with him. Ran into a couple of Republican candidates. He also ran into some Tea Party activists out mm -hmm. there, sort of uh, really conversation very up close and personal. Yes. Uh, how does this play out there and for the nation to see? Well, I mean, I think that this is, um, I think that the president does well in exchanges like that. I mean, he did that in 08 where he had uh, several harsh uh, exchanges with people. He always, this is where his cool demeanor, which sometimes uh, has drawn criticism, mm -hmm. this is where his cool demeanor really plays well. Um, and I do think that there is a, if you look at the polls, there is a sympathy with the argument that the, um, some of the Tea Party Republicans are not being um, cooperative enough and that they are uh, too hostile to anything that they oppose. Right. There, there was some pretty polarizing issue that our nation sort of had limped through or made it through, talking about the health care there, uh, mm -hmm. either you're for that or you're against that, right. or uh, talking about the debt ceiling, you thought the right. spending was too much, what about the tax raise for the, for the rich, that kind of thing. Uh, are these issues too polarizing for him to address, or can he not ignore it out there on the road? Oh, he can't ignore it. I mean, in fact, he talked about, um, he made fun of the whole Obamacare thing, which obviously, as you mentioned, is a real flashpoint for very conservative uh, voters, particularly the Tea Party folks, who feel like this is, you know, a government takeover of, of the health care system, um, and he he sort of mocked the Obamacare thing. I think that he's he's getting more comfortable with the idea that actually, if I stay in my zone, um, some of these more conservative groups are going to are going to drag the part the Republican Party enough to the right mm -hmm. that maybe I'll be okay. The end of the trip will be a little uh, downtime, a little R and R for the uh, for the first family. Will he get criticized? Well, you know, he always gets criticized for it. Any, I remember President Bush getting criticized for, for being right. away as much, too. He's planning on going to, the, to uh, Martha's Vineyard right. at the end of the week. We've seen this photo op before with the ice cream. Absolutely. Is it a really bad time to do this, or is he a family man that deserves this break, like everybody else? Well, I think that um, there is no doubt that the Republicans, and, you know, the Republican National Committee has already come out with, uh, you know, some ads making fun of him, and they make jokes about Martha's Vineyard. I think that in the end, uh, voters mostly uh, recognize that the president needs a little downtime with sure. his family, so I don't think that that ends up being a, a huge problem.
Thanks. This is Scott Montgomery, Roll Call uh, Managing Editor. Appreciate your insight today. It's, Thank you very much, Rob. It is this story we will be looking at every the minutiae of this right until Election yes. Day. Thank yes. you, Steve. Over to you. Awesome. Thanks very much. It is 19 minutes past.